So today, I am very proud, along with my colleagues here on stage, to be announcing planetary resources. Uh, the vision of planetary resources is to make the resources of space available to humanity both in space and here on Earth, whether it's propellant from water on asteroids or strategic metals and minerals that are important to promoting and creating a world of abundance here on Earth. I have the pleasure of having written a book called Abundance, The Future is Better Than You Think. And the book was a response of saying, you know, it's time to stop all this negative thinking. We are living into a world where individuals and small teams have the ability to do incredible things. Scarcity, which has been the model of the past, is contextual. And technology is an abundance-liberating force. And whether it's uh, abundance on metals and minerals and energy and real estate, these are the things in near infinite quantities in space. We have a population of almost 9,000 near-Earth asteroids, which represents, by the way, my friends, 1%, 1% of the near-Earth asteroids that are larger than 50 meters. So there are almost 500,000, there are between 500,000 and a million asteroids that we expect to find out there over time that are greater than 50 meters and that are close to us in terms of the near-Earth capability. That's an extraordinary amount. We only know 1% of them right now. And so our first phase beyond the development of our technology is to prospect. We're going to do it by launching a, a space telescope, a series of space telescopes, which are our ARCID 100 series, which you're going to see. And then we're eventually going to launch swarms of spacecraft using our ARCID 300 series to these targets as we characterize them, as we learn about them. And eventually, into the third phase, which is the extraction phase, we're going to decide, based upon the characteristics that we find out in the prospecting phase, exactly where we're going to go and what we're going to do.